Hey, my name is SimK. Welcome back to Mafia 3. Now, I believe I have a few grind missions that I have to go do before I can uh, actually get into the more of the story of this. But anyway, uh, let's just jump right into this. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic. I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had. There was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. All right, story mission is unlocked to get Michael Greco. Yeah, this is going to be the main part of this uh, episode, is the Michael Greco stuff. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. Vito's in good shape uh, for an old man. Here? Probably face down in pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. What I mean by that is that he's not fat. <laughs> Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Come on, back to the car. You drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Stupid ass. Oh, Jesus. The fucker almost went through the windshield. Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my son car? Of a bitch. He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until. Ah! Boy, take it. Fucking bridge work. Ah! Over there! He's out of his car! Okay. Fuck! Fuck, god damn it! Stupid. Who are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 3 5, suspicious person, individual, vehicle. No. You're gonna have to shake these corn potent redneck motherfuckers. You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! Hell's a coming! How about that shit, bitch? to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody! Help! Whew. Shit. 
<laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. The fuck is ignoring me? Do nothing. Didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Ah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. They said we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shh. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. Well, what do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And 
Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. Uh, sign this to Vito. Talk down almost seems simple enough. Optional mission. How things really work. Conversation unlocked. Talk to Donovan. Who he's shooting. Conversation unlocked. I got a marker. Another marker. Another marker. And I got the micro complete. And all right, so I'm gonna actually end the episode there. So I want to thank everybody watch so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. You want to see more? Make sure to subscribe. Check out awesome content I create, including the links that will, or I'm sorry, the annotations that will be at the end of this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Money, I keep my hand on my gunny. Don't get to playing with Sunny unless you play boy bunny. I put bow in your tummy, tattoo in your brain. Man ain't playing. If you think it's a game, haters whisper my name. Suckers want what I slang. Arrogant and I'm vain. DA want me to hang. But let me explain. Life able and came. That the black grim is not my brother's keeper. Revenge, revenge. A killer's on a binge of revenge. It depends if I can live with my sins. Lose family and friends. Lost them all. Now you got to lose life and limb. Spit flim on them. Got the code of rock him. Homie jokes ain't allowed. And your boy ain't scared to move the crowd with something loud. If you doubt what I'm about, go ahead and run your mouth.